Hi everyone. Uh, I'd like to say I'm sorry for that I haven't uploaded a video in about a month. Um, I've been really busy at school uh, with TV production and um, sound and lighting for shows and so so I haven't been able to make a video lately. Just want to give an update on my hand radio stuff. And also, yes, this part of my room is a mess because this stuff is new and I have to find a place to put it. But right now it's just on the ground. Alright, I just have a couple of my radios charging. Uh, same radio FTM uh, 100 DR. Um, HF is the same except I now have a sound card radio interface which I have to see how to program. Got that from a friend, so thank you. This is not really doing anything, it's just there because it looks cool. And this is actually a uh, HF preamplifier so that it takes signals that are low. Let me turn it off. This one's a little bit the band's not too busy today. And increases the signal strength. Okay, if you are wrong, here on the Talon, Mike Sierra Alpha. Edgar de Nueva York. Saludos, Edgar. Buenos días. Forty meters has nothing. Yeah, so that's one cool thing I got. Same antenna um, rotator for when I operate when I do VHF contests. So then off, uh, same sample that I use for um, when I'm doing video PSK31 or um, uh, what's that called? The other one. Oh, at, it, it, never mind. Okay. Um, I, I changed out the antenna outside for my external base antenna. It used to be a Comet, um, it was a Comet CX333, now it's a Diamond X50 because the camera has some problems. You can hear some stuff on you. Okay, so some new things that I got. Alright, so I got this new power supply. And all this stuff I got in an auction for a really extremely good price. Less than $75 for all this. This is an Astron 35 amp power supply, which is currently powering my uh, 2 meter radio. This was my old power supply. It's an amazing power supply, except it took up a lot of shelf room on my uh, desk. And so I'm just going to use it when I operate um, portable. It's a new little radio I got. It's a Alinko DR112. Uh, two meter radio from 144 to 148 megahertz. It's missing its mic, but that's not too bad of a problem to fix. I also have a, I also got a new ra Radio Shack HTX212 two meter radio, which is actually a really, really good mobile radio, and it's currently in um, one of my vehicles. I can't drive yet, but yeah. Um, you know. So now all this stuff. I got full of these ICOM ICD2AT. 2 meter handhelds, HTs. Um, a lot of assist, a lot of accessories. You can see all the antennas down there. Are these BNC style antennas. A lot of batteries, and I got this all for five dollars. This entire thing. So we got one, two, three, four. I think there was one more that I had, which was a different brand. Oh, no, I'm sorry, yeah, so this is a different one. I got these, and, uh, yeah, got a few other various items, but that's about it for, um, Shack right now, so thank you guys for watching, 